Okay, let's play these videos. All right, lady, what's this? Okay, so one of the benefits of working at Adafruit is that you get to ask for hardware and I'll usually build it for you and we'll put it in the shop. So um, one of our Adafruit IO devs asked, hey, they want to wire up um, DS18B20 temperature sensors, but they want to wire up a bunch of them for quick testing um, with like a plug and play system similar to Stomach QT. So here is, you know, this is like a plug in Stemma cable. So you see it's got the uh, pins just wired up to a metro. And then you can chain these boards together. So here's like one, and then here's another one, and then there's a, like a third one. And then the fourth one actually has like a cabled version of the DS18B20. And uh, each one of these has a screw terminal block so you can easily attach and detach. And you can use it with two wires, only ground and signal. So this is purposefully disconnected to show like you can still read um, the temperature even when the power pin is not connected because it's using parasitic power. A uh, little red LED that's buffered here so you know when signal is going through. And then um, on my serial monitor, you can see all the temperature data coming through. So yeah, about 25 degrees Celsius for all of them, room temperature, all of them are working. So a uh, little handy solder free way to quickly wire up lots of DS18B20s. Coming soon to the Adafruit shop. Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, um, I've been working on improving our soil sensor board uh, to add a stomach QT port. At the same time, I was like, well, why don't I make like a Trinky board, something that has a SAMD21, an HT20 temperature humidity sensor, a NeoPixel, a light sensor, USB-C for programming it in Arduino or CircuitPython, stomach QT port, and then QT mounting mold so you could like attach another stomach QT sensor. So here it is in this uh, lovely... 699 roses flower pot from Trader Joe's. Beautiful, got this this morning. And I am measuring um, the soil sensing using the capacitive sensor. You can see the two pads here. And like I said, temperature, humidity, and light. And here's what it looks like on, I'm uploading the data to Adafruit IO. So if you look over here, you can see where I kind of pulled out the soil sensor for a second just to reseed it. But um, what I'm gonna do is plot this over the course of a couple of days and that number should dip from 200 down to zero as the soil gets drier and less capacitive. Uh, and then maybe I'll set up an A for IO alert to let me know and I'll um, water the plant. So yeah, a little all-in-one plant monitoring system. So hopefully it won't kill plants as often. All right, what's this? Um, I needed a quick way to like disable data lines or the power pin or the ground pin on a USB connection. And I was like kind of DIYing it with a cable um but then i was like oh maybe i should make a little board that has like little slide switches and uh so i made a board that has little slide switches so i can like quickly disable any of the connections okay next up um get a request for an i squared c to one wire converter so this will allow like single board computers that need one wire or um if you have a mic controller that doesn't have one wire but does have i squared c uh, there's libraries available for the ship. Apparently it's kind of cute. And, uh, apparently this one has ESD support as well. Okay. Your protection. Um, I had a request for like a, you know, easily mountable NeoPixel LED that had like, you know, mounting holes and didn't require any soldering. So this version has, um, JST SH connectors, um, on the bottom, like little tiny connectors. You know, it's not going to be inexpensive but um if you only have to mount a couple leds and you don't want to do any soldering you just want like something plug and play um so you can like, easily remove and replace them if necessary i think this could uh, be a good design all right and that is top secret yay